Hey guys, this is Calistonian. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn any mod that you want into an infinite population mod. And when I say infinite population mod, what I mean by that is basically reducing the population count of any unit by one, by two, by whatever, maybe setting all the population counts to one, uh, maybe removing build limits on towers and houses and things like that. These are all extremely, extremely easy edits to make. But you will find that those types of mods are usually not compatible with mods that maybe add units to the game. So any mods such as my UMC High Priority mod uh, that are adding units to the proto file are not going to be compatible with your infinite population mods. However, you can quite easily just reproduce the edits from those infinite population mods within UMC High Priority. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. First thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our Age Mythology folder, wherever you have it installed. We're going to come to our Mods folder, and we're going to find, it once you've subscribed to the mod and you've restarted your game, it should show up here. All of the files for that mod should show up here. We're going to find that mod. We're going to come to UMC High Priority, and we're going to go into the Data folder, and we're going to find Proto 2.5. Now I'm going to make a backup of this, and I already have a backup folder set up. You can put the backup folder inside this mod directly, there's there's no risk, you don't need to make a backup folder external to the mod. And we're going to go into the active file and open it up here. Now, I'm going to control F and do name equal to some unit that I know already has a population cost, like the Hoplite. And we're going to come down here and we're just going to take this population count to, see it says population count equal to 2. We're going to come back to the top of the file and we're just going to do edit, replace, and starting with population count 2, I can replace that with population count 1 and hit replace all. And now what we've done is we've replaced all of the units that cost 2 population, they now cost 1 population. Now we can also come up and set this to 3 and we can set we can click replace all and set it all to 1. Uh, maybe for this mod I want to set them all to 2. So that for this particular mod, like for my preference maybe, I just want to reduce all the population costs by one. Then I can hit replace all and, and do that. Now obviously you don't want to start from like the max population cost, which I think is like five or six, and then go down because that's obviously not going to work. Um, logically. So you want to go up in the numbers. So next we'll do four and we'll set that to three and replace all. And then we'll do five and we'll set that to four and click replace all. And I think five is the max population. Maybe it's six. I don't, I don't remember. But at any rate, now you know how to do this. It's extremely easy. It took literally 30 seconds for us to do that. Now let's say we want to reduce or eliminate the build limit or increase the build limit for towers. So we just do name equal to tower. You can also do, let's, let's say house, because that seems to be a popular one. Name equal to house. And you come down, you see here it has build limit equal to 10. We can set that to 100, set it to 1000. We can also just delete this entire line. Now you can do this for any type of unit. Um, another unit that might have a build limit is something like name equal to hero greek jason this will have a build limit of one which you can see right here build limit of one now i can increase this to like 10 and then now we can train 10 jason units or i can just delete the line now we can train as many jason units as we want so that's really all there is to it as you can see it takes absolutely no time at all i still have all of my umc data is still here at the bottom of this file uh, so the actual mod itself has not been affected. I'm just going to save here and close this. Uh, so we've now incorporated our infinite population mod into UMC High Priority. And like I said, this you do the same process for literally any other data mod. Any other type of mod that affects unit stats, attack stats, HP, whatever, uh, technology stats, anything like that. You can do this exact same process too. And um, that's how you will be able to reduce the population cost for all of your units. So I can come into game and test this. And uh, I'll just verify that we are able to make uh, an unlimited number of JSON units. Okay. I think Zeus gets Jason. Yeah. Let's let's see. Well, and I'll also put a hoplite here. 
Okay, so let's start spamming out Jason units. We can just spam them, you know. And as you can see in the tooltip here, Hoplite cost one population. So, and we're just spamming out infinite Jasons now. So we remove the build on the unit. So, so yeah, that's basically all there is to it. It's quick edit. Uh, infinite population mods are, you know, I don't even really consider them to be mods. They're just kind of like a part of a bigger mod. They're a part of other mods. And you can incorporate them into any other mod that you want. Now, do keep in mind that... I'm going to exit out of this nonsense. Um, do keep in mind that if I ever update my mod, and for a mod like UMC High Priority, there is a strong possibility that I will in fact update that mod. Uh, and when I update it, I'm, my um, Proto 2.5 file is going to override your edited one. And there's not really any way around that. You could save a backup of your edited file, but then my new edits, which are probably going to be incorporating new units into the UMC collection, those aren't going to show up in your edited file. So the easiest way to do it is just to make those edits again. And as you saw, it took us about 30 seconds to actually make the mod. And the rest of this video has just been me explaining stuff and, and playtesting. So it's extremely easy for you to just come back and make those edits again when I update. And what you can do instead of saving a backup is you can just save a notepad file that just lists what changes you made. Like I reduced all the population counts by one, I set the build limit on Jason to 10 and I removed the build limit on houses or something. And that will remind you what edits you need to make again when I update this file. So that's all there is to it. Uh, please let me know if anything was unclear. If you have any questions, uh, let me know on YouTube or by contacting me on Steam. Thanks for watching.